What's up, everybody? It is your big homie in the building. Welcome to the dang show. What's up? What's popping? How's everybody doing today? How's everybody having a a good week? What's good? What's good? What's good? Hope you guys are having a grand old time, chilling, relaxing, unwinding, and eating dinner. Whatever y'all doing, what's cracking? It's your big homie in the building. Yeah, baby, back in the evening again with another episode. And guys, I'm sorry that I didn't do an episode yesterday because I, um, to be honest with you, I did film an episode yesterday. But I just, um, I was about to post it. I was about to post it earlier, but there was no sound. So there was no sound. Uh, so, and there's a reason why there's no sound. It's because the Holy Spirit didn't want that video to come out. Because, so the Holy Spirit wanted me to do it. So, yeah. So that's why um, you haven't got an episode yesterday. Because uh, the video was, uh, the episode was, you know. Yeah, so that's that. So, anywho, we gonna have a grand old time. This is episode 28, I believe. Oh my god, we on our way, on our way. Because guys, I got something planned for y'all. Y'all gonna love it, y'all gonna love it. I'm not gonna tell you what season. I'm gonna... Whew, oh lordy, I ain't gonna say too much. But you guys are gonna get really excited. And I'm not gonna tell you what season. But I'm gonna be... um. I'm going to be interviewing different people. I'm going to be not just interview. I will be talk. I'll be um, letting people come. I, w- I will have special guests on my show. And I'm, oh, g- guys, there's going to be some special guests. For those of you who don't know the per, I'm going to put people who you, who doesn't, you, you guys don't know. And some people you might be familiar with. So, yeah. So, anywho, I just want to let you guys know as, oh, oh my God. I'm excited. I got my juice up in here. Mm. Mm. Oh, I know you probably wonder where you get this cup. Where I get this cup from. Well, it was gifted to me. Period. It was gifted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seriously, it was gifted to me. Mm-hmm. Nice. Love it. I like the shape of the cup. Anyway, this episode is not about the cup. So, just saying, I just want to, you know, say that oh, I got a nice little cup. And the thing is, my favorite color is blue. So, that's a, that's a plus. So, it's not my favorite color. Yeah. So, anywho, so, um,. As we all know, at the beginning of the episode, we talked to, I talked to my future wife. Yes, I do. And for those of you don't, as I keep saying in each episode, I did meet my future wife. Because uh, I'm going to tell you this. Do you know when you know if somebody is the one? Exactly. You know what I mean? Because at first, I did not know I was going to be with a, a woman. No, I did not know. I did, don't get me wrong. I did not know I was going to be with a woman. Because remember, I tried my shirt with guys, but there was no connection. There's like guys said, no, uh, no. I want y'all to be homies, not, you know, ex- you know what I mean? Like when there's no connect, not really connection, like no, you know what I mean? I know what word. I know you probably know what word I'm thinking about, but um, no connect, no connection. There's another word. It's a pop up throughout the episode. I don't know what, but I know that for a fact. And I'm just so that's how you know when somebody's one. You know, it's like when you look into their eyes, you, you can see deep down in their soul. And you know what I mean. And that's because when you lock eyes. With that person that you know that that's the one. Oh Lord, that is the one. It's like you're having a moment of where have you been all my life? 
So that's what me and my fi- because I know to be honest with you, I know my future wife is probably listening to this right now, but to be honest with you, I did not know what my future wife's name is going to be before we met. There was a clue, but my behind did not even know that my future wife is in my name. That's all y'all need to know. My future wife is in my name. I'm not going to pull out what letter. No, 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 no. The reason why my future wife is in my name because she's my other half. So that's why her name is in my name for a reason. Because my behind did not even know. So God did not let me know that I got... God just let... My, the, the Holy Spirit just told me that um, some time ago that my future wife's name is in my name. So that... <laughs> I'm not, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to tell you what letter make up my future wife's name. So, I can't tell you that because that is a very sensitive information. God does not want me to reveal that due to privacy. So, all I need, all y'all need to know is my future wife's name is in my name. That, I'm not going to tell you if it's first, minute or whatever. Nope. Not not happening. I'm not going to tell y'all. So sorry, due to personal issues, we we ain't doing it. But anyway, I know y'all probably say, "I want to know." I no, that is very personal. If God said not to reveal it, I cannot reveal it because she is my other half, and I gotta respect her. That's a woman of God. She's a woman of God. She's a woman. She's she's a woman that God wants to protect. God wants to protect both of us, both me and her. That's why when it comes to my future wife and I, we can't share our personal life to anybody. Period. Because that's what I was told specifically from God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit not to reveal that information because that information is very very private and sensitive so that i cannot say just that y'all know so don't ask me don't i don't want nobody leaving the comments or on my social media saying uh oh i'm trying to figure out a personal life no it ain't happening not i will not reveal it period and that's that. Full stop. Yeah. So anywho, we go. I'm gonna talk to my future wife for a second, cause, I, cause I need to talk to my future wife for a second because she's all I think about all day, gone day, every day, every hour, every minute. Ooh ooh ooh. So, future wife, if you hear this, you are so amazing. I want to tell this future wife. When we first met, when we first met, there there has been sparks. There's there's have been sparks in right in front of us. It's like I couldn't stop staring at you for some reason. But I'm trying to figure out why am I staring at you for some reason? You do the same thing too. We both staring at each other. We couldn't stop staring at each other. The first time we met, it's like a, it's like a, oh my God. It's like a, oh my God moment. I can't believe I found the one, my other half. It's like, we're just looking at each other like we know each other for a long time. That's how it feels like when me and my future wife met, me and you met. Girl, mm, you're amazing. You got the beauty. You have God's light in you. You got the same light as me. Oh, that's amazing. You got the same light as me. And that light is brighter than the sun. Brighter like the sun. Not even brighter than the sun. Brighter like the sun. Because we are the bright. Because, (laughs) uh, hmm. My name, um, 
I know future wife, you already know what I'm about to say. Um <clears throat> and yeah and boo, you already know what I'm about to say. Well, my name means morning star. Exactly. So that means we're both yeah. If you get my drift. You know. So yeah, so you you know we both came from this you know we're brighter than the sun we're brighter like the sun for a reason and we're set apart for a reason we're not yes we are a part of this world but we we're, we're not of this world but we stand out or so however it go stand out we stand out we're not of this world but we stand out something like that but let me say this Picture wise, you're amazing. You're God's creation. You came from my rib. Oh my God, you recognize me so. Uh, I didn't even recognize you to be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you, future wife. I did recognize you to be honest with you. I did recognize you because when we first met, I started to say, "Oh my God," it's like. I keep staring at you for some reason, but I can't pinpoint why am I staring at you. I kept looking up you up and down. I'm like, whoa. It's like, you know how the light, you know, the brightest light shine. When I look at you, boo, I can see God's light pointing directly to you. And I'm like, Wait a minute. In my mind, I'm like, ooh. Is that my soul recognize your soul? My masculine energy recognize your feminine energy. Ooh, and when our soul travels through time and space and we finally see each other in this earth, on this earth. Wow. I have traveled through time, hopping different bodies to find you. Man, how cool is that to find you? Because I've traveled through the stars, time, everything to, to reunite with my queen, my soulmate, my other half. You're the one that made me a better person. You you shine like there's no tomorrow. We both shine like there's no tomorrow. When it comes to you, I'm a very protective. You're the same. You protect. You like to protect me all the time, and I love you for that because I I love you for that because you you know how to put me in check though. That's why I know you belong to me because oh man. We, I didn't even realize we bought like the same things. How cool is that? That both of us, we have the same personality. I'm like, wait a minute. That's, th this is rare. It's rare for somebody who has the same personality. Really, it's definitely rare to find to find somebody with your personality that is rare and not many people find the same personality in their spouse but with both of us babe with both of us we have the same personality the same gifts we both have the anointing God anoint us since we since we were born since we God, God anoint us for a reason. God knows that we're the chosen ones. And your name actually means you're chosen. We're, and my, both of our names mean we're the chosen ones. So we're chosen. We are chosen to be on this earth. To make a difference. With you by my side, we will make this world a better place to live in. And that's what God put us on this earth for. That's why we travel all through time to find each other. And we finally find each other so we could make the world a better place. That's, the, that's why we're actually here. So future wife, 
let's get ready to rumble let's get ready to rumble and we going to make this world in the way it should be the way how God intend for this world get you uh, get on your mark get set we about to go we're gonna blast off we're gonna make this world the way it is supposed to be with lots of love love peace love calamity all that stuff that's what the world needs no more violence there's too many killings in this world and that's why we're here this is our generation and we're gonna make sure in future generations all the generations we're going to change make a change on this world and put the rightful leaders the rightful leaders the one who has the true leadership in them and not the fake leaders not the fake leaders because we with with you by my side and we both have God's grace in us we, have, we both have God's um, love in us we got we both have God's thing we are the access we are the access code we are the access code we we have direct access to the most high and with you by my side we will make sure we 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 partner we already partnered with god already we already partnered with god but with you by myself we all three of us god you and me we are partners that love each other we have a bond that is stronger than any other relationship out there and i'm s we are the most powerful sign in the world and god shows us for a reason to be the most powerful force because we are the key we are the access code that make this whole world we already know that a Scorpio's energy with my other with my other zodiac sign. I'm not gonna say the the per, my my future wife zodiac sign because God already know who I'm talking about. With both of us by our side, with a mysterious person, not just because. I'm mysterious because of the power we hold Scorpio has the power the ultimate power you already know I have the ultimate power but with you by my side we are unstoppable force we are unstoppable we are like Barry and Iris we're we're like Lewis Lane or whatever we are that because that's why God put us together for a reason so we can make this world flourish we can make this world to be a better place to live in that's the purpose why God put us on this earth so we can find each other so we can make sure the whole world show love show love and that's the beauty so future wife I can't wait to make memories to make memories to make adventures to make all these things I can't wait whatever the future holds for both of us we are ready to take it on on a journey but this is where our story begins our story begins with us with both of us have the ultimate power you already know I have the power but with both of us we are unstoppable there's no one can break this ultimate power no one on this earth can't do that we both know that 
we both know that nobody on this earth can't break this bond because this bond is the most has the most power in the whole entire world and that's why God put us together for a reason so future wife I hope I, I hope you allow us to make the difference with a partnership for God and we will make sure this world will be a better place your future your lover your beauty I <laughs> just put in beauty uh, you're sexy <laughs> I know what you're thinking boo boo D so yeah I know I know y'all probably say oh yeah I had to talk to my future wife you know cuz you know this came from the heart you know what I mean so I know my future wife probably watching this right now and man whoo and I'm gonna tell you this you guys have been loved in the show a lot thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch all the episodes all the episodes even I can't believe it y'all will sit through an hour worth of footage Jesus man that's how no how loyal you guys are I can't believe you sit through an hour worth of footage wow and for that I have something nice for you guys so for all my subscribers all my new subscribers welcome 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 if you're new welcome if you're returning if you're a returning subscriber what's up yeah and if you have if you haven't checked out my other episodes go ahead go ahead. if you miss any of the episodes go ahead feel free but right after you watch throughout this this episode first before you jump into that so anywho so now we got a few announcements then we're gonna go straight to the topic and you already know this is one take this is one take I don't I don't edit this out I don't want to say oh I'm gonna take out certain parts I this is this show is all about being honest being raw being this is the real me I want to be able that's why this show is all about honesty it's all about honesty because honesty is is my is my language if you're not honest with me then you need to tell me so that's why I created this show and by my future queen inspired me to start this my future queen so shout out to you boo I know you're watching this episode so shout out to you Shout out to all the people that have been um, watching, taking the time out, their busy schedule to watch this. Some some episodes are long, some episodes are 50, so oh lord, y'all are true supporters, and I, I appreciate that. Anyway, we got a few announcements, then we're going to jump into the topic. So we got, we're going to make this short and sweet, so here's what. First announcement, you already know where it's going to go. The 29th of this month there's gonna be I'm gonna give you a rough draft of how the design is gonna look like y'all know what I'm about to say because I've seen in all the episodes all the episodes until you know so on the 29th I'm gonna give you a rough draft I'm gonna be post it on the blog and I'm gonna post it on the website so you guys can see what the design is gonna be because it's gonna be in the clothing store there's going to be a clothing line. I said this in, in the episode too. So new merch. I'm going to show you the design. How it's going to look like. What color. And y'all know. Y'all know which color. That um that I have in mind. Some of you might know my. Um, my favorite color. But that's one of my favorite colors. So yeah. So mm-hmm. All right, so that's one of my favorite color, and that's what it is. That's one of my favorite color. I'm not going to tell you what it is. 
some of y'all might know some of you might not know so yep so everywho that's one announcement num numero dos yes guys i speak a, li a little spanish poquito a little means poquito i know i know and then you're gonna say oh yes i'm oh great i'm gonna say this i'm bilingual but not i would love to be fluent in spanish and i'm working on my spanish because i got straight a's in spanish because yes i am bilingual because yeah just saying i would love to you know because i'm not fluent in spanish yet uh because i'm getting there i'm getting there you know what i mean i, I know a little all right i know y'all gonna say game is okay fine i would say hola como estas muy bien gracias what did i just say a while ago if y'all figure it out type in the comments what did i say and i'm going to reveal it in my next episode i'm not going to reveal it right now i said hola como estas muy bien gracias so i want y'all to tell me what that means leave it in the comments leave it wherever leave it on so and on my on my facebook wherever you can post it right there and you can tell me what exactly did I just say in Spanish so so and just the added bonus added bonus I know if y'all if y'all speak Spanish y'all probably know what I'm about to say cuantos años tienes that's <laughs> if y'all figure out what the heck that is oh yeah so that's an added bonus. So I'm gonna say it one more time. I want y'all to tell me what does hola como estas muy bien gracias and then as an added bonus I said cuantos años tienes. So let me in the next episode if y'all could get it before that time I have something nice for you. You got and y'all know what i'm gonna go with that y'all gonna get an actual the design that i'm working on the people who get this correct is going to get the fur is going to get the design for free i know i said it i said it i know i know i said it you can get a thing for free but this is for people who know what it means so if you know what it means good still so yeah that's what it is so that's what it is so third um next announcement next announcement this is very I'm, i've been working on this project and i can't wait to post it i can't wait to post this project this project is going to be amazing and i can't wait to i can't reveal too much on what i'm working on right now but that's the last announcement I can't wait to tell you, but I, I've been working on this project for quite a long time. Y'all know it's about the, it is about the company. It is about the company. It is about the company. So, y'all know, y'all already know, y'all already know, y'all already know for real. So, anyway, so, y'all already know where I'm going with that. So, that's why I said I'm working on the project, and that is the, the typing of the, the administration stuff because that got it done that got it done so that's very important that that side is done i got everything all set everything is almost good and remember on may 8th that's when everything is going to be live that means the fish king entertainment and ll apps entertainment they're both going to be live they're they're both going to be actually launched. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. I'm glad that just came out. That was the Holy Spirit. Let me know what word. Because I know I heard live and something else. So on May 8th. That's the second week. Of, that's the second week. Not the first week. The second week. The May 8th is on a Monday. So just to let you guys know. It's on a Monday. So make sure to put that on your calendar. That's when everything is going to go live. Everything is going to be smoothly. Everything is almost done. So by May the by by um 
May first means I'm gonna be so by hold on. But I'm trying to see the, if the eighth is Monday, the eighth, the seventh is Sunday, the sixth by May fifth. By May fifth, I'ma make sure everything is all done. But the thing is, I'ma make it May six because May six I have to make sure everything is all good. Make sure I do a rough, um not the rough draft. Uh, I make sure um everything is all good and all amazing. Cause the website is good. All I need to do just um play around with it, put some stuff on it, yada yada. And there's also the blog thing that I've been posting. So that blog link is gonna be on that website. So that means in order to go to the blog, you got to go to the main website. So which is make it easy for everybody. You can just one one website. You, everything is there one website that's for defreshing entertainment and and the other the other one is for the technology company so those are the two links one so remember one for defresh and one for ll apps so that means that trademark that trademark i'm going to be doing the trademark i'm not going to tell you when because i know it's going to be in may but i'm not going to tell you what date it's going to be before the launch date is going to be before the launch date, but I will not reveal it what date. Just let you know. Just let you know. So that's that. So anyway, that's the last announcement. So let's jump into the topic and we're going to, after the topic, then I'm going to tell you where you can find me and then we're going to have a grand old time. <laughs> and if you want, oh guys, if you want me to go live, let me know. I will be going live on this youtube here or wherever you want me to do it either on youtube or on twitch whichever platform you want me to do it i will do it so we're gonna go into the topic and the topic is very smooth and very upfront and to the point now i will as you before you know guys i don't put the title in the episode because i might it might be multiple topics it might be three topics in one that's why i don't put it in the episode so just let you know if you don't see a topic that means there are multiple there are more than two i'm gonna put just more more than two more than two topics are in it so we go so let's go into the topic what the purpose is and that is for you guys getting to know me because i told you i want you guys to get to know me before I talk about different other topics if you so I just wanted you guys to know so first and foremost um, if you if you watch the documentary you will know what I'm about to say I had certain things I did not say in a documentary what I did not put in that documentary that I dropped part one and part two so there's certain so there's certain things I did not say in there so I'm gonna say it on this episode and this is episode uh what probably episode 27 or 28 one of them i don't know who one of them episodes but anyway so so first thing is in high school you guys um i'm gonna tell you i don't think i ever tell you the name of the high school that i went to um that was um east orange campus high school that's a high school that i went to and i graduated in 2007 yeah 2007 that was june of 2007 and at that college i mean at that high school oh i got my high school diploma make a long story short i've been in a lot of stuff but i mean i've been to may i tell you i sang i i didn't know i could sing y'all i didn't know i could sing i didn't know i have a voice in me people tell me oh you need to go on american idol i need to go on american idol i'm like I'm like, come again? They want me to go on American Idol. I didn't know my voice was like that. I didn't know my voice can, you know, I did not know. I did not know my voice is that beautifully. And turns out, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> turns out I have songs like Clockwork, songs like Clockwork. Oh, ooh, yeah. 
songs like Clockwork. So, I mean, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I had songs on all over the internet. Yeah. So, if you, if you want to check out my old songs, my mixtape that I did, my songs. I did a music video some years ago, decades ago, when I was living in the Miami area, close to the Miami intersection. Uh, yes, guys, I used to live in Miami. Yes, I used to live there, so make a long story short it was good and don't want to go back but it is good i like it i like miami to be honest with you i love miami i love miami so i'm not saying that miami is a great place but i didn't live, live inside of miami but it is intersection it's an intersection with something else so yeah so that's that and uh I did went to um, different colleges. For those of you who don't know, I, if you, I probably said this. I don't know if I said the rest, but I, in all, at, I've worked, at, I've done work study in all Broward College. Yeah, and it work study in all Broward College. The north, the south, the whatever campus, the whatever campus. Yes, I've I've done work study in all those any any Broad College I work in all of it. And all of them are at a bookstore. So there, yeah. So I did bookstore job. So that's that. So I'm gonna tell you about the jobs that I had. I'm gonna list all the jobs that I've done throughout my lifetime because I know you guys want to know what jobs I work. So, the first ever job I ever started after high school, it was, I did a seasonal job. It was from July to August. It was from July to August. And from July to August, that's when I did a seasonal job at, I used to be a receptionist. Yeah, I was a receptionist, y'all. I was a receptionist. I answered phone calls. I did all, all the receptionist job. I've done all that jazz. I know about receptionist job because I've done it before. Hold that thought. Yeah, that's the first job I did. Then, while I was working, wait, that's a different thing. So. While I was there, after that, it was seasonal, so that means July started by August. Yeah. So after that, I went to Bro uh, not Broad. I went to SS County College. May I tell you this? That's not the college I was supposed to go to. To be honest with you, nope. I went to a county college. I was not supposed to go there because I can't believe I'm about to say this but the Holy Spirit wanted me to say this on camera on this episode because it's time for you guys to know what actually happened and I think I probably said it in one of the episode I don't know if I said it but if I said it cool but I was not supposed to go to County College I got accepted into a university at St. John's University you know the one where Reverend Run was rapping about Exactly. Cause he was rapping about St. John University. Cause that's where people who was on the honor roll supposed to go. And I was on the honor roll twice. I was on the high the highest honors and I was on the departmental. So there's a difference right there. And I'm gonna tell you why there's a difference. The higher the high departmental honors, that's the highest. I got both. I got the highest department of honors and I have, this, I have the second one. The second one doesn't have the highest. It's a, the second one is departmental honors. They're different. Yes, one is higher, one is it's, it's still, I still, I still made it into the honor, uh, on the honor, and so that means I'm supposed to go directly to a university. Now, Here's where it gets interesting. Uh, the high school that I went to, the high school that I went to, they chose the school that I'm supposed to go to. 
They chose a school that I'm supposed to go to. Oh yeah. They chose my school chose university that I'm supposed to go to. And the university that I, the school that I'm supposed to go to is a university. I was supposed to go to St. John's University. Cuz to be honest with you, the color blue, I keep seeing blue everywhere I go. Look look what's this cup? Blue. And my and there's a picture of my grandma. Her clothes is blue. There's a picture of her wearing blue outfit and I was wearing blue, but a different shade of blue. So what that is saying that God has been showing me that I was supposed to go to that university and not as a scouting college. So what I mean? Because I was placed on an honor roll. So if you have honors, you're supposed to be at a university, not at a different school, which is a county college. That's a county college. So I'm not supposed to be going to county college. I was supposed to go to university. But that's why, that's what actually happened. And how I know this, and this, y'all, Bracel says what I'm about to tell you. I got a letter in the mail. Not, not now, but when I was living in New Jersey, I got a letter stating from St. John's University that is in New York City. I did not know where they're from, to be honest with you. I did not know where they're from. Because I just heard St. John's University, that's it. I did not know where exactly. So, yeah, now you guys know. I did not know. I make a long story short. Make a long story short. Here's what happened. My mom got the, the, the letter in the mail. I got my acceptance letters and all of that. Yada, yada, yada. So, I did not see it. I hope you hear that correctly. I'm going to come closer so I can say it again. The acceptance letter to St. John University. I did not get it. Meaning, it's not, it was in my hand physically. So that means you're not already put two and two together. Exactly. It's, it was how I know from 2000 all the way in 2007, that's a decade ago, until now, guess where I found it? in my mom's room the holy spirit led me there and i found this last year oh yeah i found this last year not this year because i found out last year i don't know what month don't ask me i don't even remember because that was last year so yeah oh yeah so my mom hid that letter and i was supposed to go to that university because I was on the on a roll, I was supposed to go there, but instead, my mom put me at a county college. Tell me how wrong that is on so many levels. I could understand if I'm applying to the university. But the fact of the matter is, I got an acceptance letter that says, Congratulations, Danica. <laughs> you have been chosen to be a part of this school. Here's your, um, accept your acceptance letter. Something about, except here's your package. That's the word. Here's your package. Your, um, because literally, they're, they were about to put me in honor programs like AP honors, AP this, AP that. That means advanced placement. They're about to put me in that category. They're about to put me in those classes. But guess what? I did not do that. Oh, thanks to my mom, did not put me in that category. So tell me 
how wrong is that on so much levels think about it would your parents do that hold a letter that is meant for you to go to university when you're on the honor roll and you're supposed to go to university and they tell you to go to a different school that is sign of control and to be honest with you my high school my high school in New Jersey thought I went to that university but the school just uh, <laughs> they probably found out oh they found out <laughs> they found out and that was not oh and that was not quick now hold that thought while well, I'll be back in a second in a gym. one second as you stare at the D letter D I'm not making this up. If I was, I wouldn't have said this on camera. I wouldn't have said this. But this is one of the mess up stuff that anyone would do. You were play I was placed on the honor roll, the highest honor roll. The highest. So that means if you know what that means, right? Exactly. And on top of it, I have the highest IQ. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have the highest IQ. You will not want to know what my high IQ score. It's the highest. The highest IQ score that I've ever received. I don't know how much was Albert Einstein IQ. I don't know if I went over it because mine is a 140. Oh yeah, that's highest. Yes, it is a 140. But I'm <laughs> the Holy Spirit probably tell me I got um, uh, Einstein is probably 136 or something. But I probably got the highest. Oh yeah. So me, I'm one of the intelligent person in the whole world. You know why? But first and foremost, I'm good at technology. Oh yeah. I know about phones. I know about tech. I'm a genius. I know how to. <laughs> you would not believe it. I am good at tech. I'm making it up. Oh yeah. When I mean, I'm one of the smartest person in the whole world right now. But first and foremost, I was placed in St. John's University. It's hard to get in that university. Think about it. It's hard to get in, but my behind get in, my behind get in, that says a lot, mm -hmm. that says a lot, mm -hmm. alright, that's, that's all you need to know, if you want more details, let me know, message me, thumbs up this episode for more information the Holy Spirit want me to cut it short right here 
So I gotta respect that. Alright, y'all. I love y'all. Take care. You can find me on social media. You can find me on the website down below and the blog. And yeah, you're gonna find me all over. I'm all over the internet. Mm hmm. I'm all over the internet. Oh, yeah. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, no. Yeah. you! Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's my nephew. <laughs> no. Anyway, love you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. And yeah, while I go finish eat this and drink this and edit this video, put it up on on YouTube. You see this, guys? I make sacrifices, y'all. Mmm. I made the effort to put this episode out. Mm. And you guys been watching the whole the whole episode. I appreciate that. I, I applaud y'all for that. But I'm gonna give you guys a shirt once if everything is all good. I'm gonna give you guys all a shirt and it's gonna be free. The people who show the love is gonna get it. Or, you know what? You're gonna get 50% off. Now you're over there. Over there. 50% off. Mm hmm. And whatever the price is gonna be, 50% off. Not free, 50%. Alright, y'all. Love you guys. Stay safe. Be blessed. Now, see you guys in my next episode. Peace.